Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to one more episode of Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be going on this one. Ooh, do we want to go for the incendiary grenade? I guess I should figure out which classes I have at what levels. Because engineer, we do have the demolitionist. It's an option. Driller is actually really close to getting the tosses, and recon's almost up there. We did a driller run last time. Mm, but you know, I haven't done heavy gunner in a while. Oh, it's tough. Because which class do we want to roll with? I could go for a quick scout, see what we can do, and then switch to heavy gunner. Yeah, let's do, do that. Mix it up so I'm not just doing the same class or something. I'm going to see if I can get that M1000 up to be something worth something. Right. Oh, does want the incendiary grenade. I think there's only so much I'm going to be able to do about that. Okay, so we are on hazard four. So that means I can't take things. Um, I can't be too cavalier here. We actually have to try. Which is maybe a bit of an issue because I shouldn't be recording this at nine in the night, or not at night, but on the flip side, I don't know. I'm in a, I'm in a good mood, uh, so I can kind of do whatever I, I want, and who cares how it turns out. What I'll probably do, oh right, uh, what I'm probably going to do is go out of my way, maybe a little bit less reload speed. I think I've been focused on it too much. Uh, Let's see. Can I go for some golden nitra? Oof. It does highlight why I like reload speed. Not having a gun currently firing actively is bad for me. Uh, let's see. Damage and fire rate. Let's just go for damage now. Okay. I only need like three more kite. Yoosh. That hurts. But we got it. Okay. So we have that. We do have the bug taser. Do I want to go for an electro build? I, you know, actually, I like the bug taser. We're going to go for the Voltaic Stun Sweeper again. Reason being, uh, the experience pickup bonus is actually huge. And getting my hands on that would probably be a good idea. See, we've already got all the Morkite we need. So I can kind of do whatever. Okay. Grab all that. Okay, 18% reload speed. Well, that's going to be helpful. Okay, and I've got a gun that can kind of take them out. I don't have to worry too much. How bad is this? Oh, this is barely anything. And the only guy in the area is a shooty dude. I like the shooty dudes. Because unlike everything else that harries me and hugs me to death... Shooty dudes are just kind of in my way. Uh, go for the gold, go for the red sugar. Let's go for the gold. I've got a ton of experience that I can kind of work with. Yep. Pushing it. Pick up radius. Somebody said they added like a 300% click-through ratio. That sounds delicious and I want it. Okay. Also, I might as well mention I uh, maxed out a lot of my meta progression off camera. Uh, so I'm not actually particularly incentivized to go out of my way for um, for stuff like Kroppa and whatnot. Oops. Don't want to be there when that goes off. I want to be there when he dies, though. I want to set those off. Ten luck. Ooh. This actually has some potential. Okay. So the elite's out and is coming after me. Yep. That hurt. Somebody has suggested doing loops around the outside. I hadn't really thought about that before, but it sounds kind of like a good idea. I don't actually know if you're more more or less likely to find yep, a nitro on the outside. But I guess that's the longest circuit, and then you can kind of go into the center and see what, what you've got. Actually, I think we've seen pretty much the entire map, so maybe it is a good idea. Not enough nitro, though. Maybe? Okay. Got a couple of these guys. Set them off. Boss is there. But I don't care. I've got some level of a pickup radius. Ooh. We're getting 
multiple legendaries here. That's that's a good sign. Like no matter how you cut it, bunch of legendary upgrades. Uh, let's not do that. Yeah, a bunch of legendary upgrades in short order is really good for me now. Okay, let's go for that. Damage type to cold or highest HP. I'm just going to go for damage type to cold, even if we're not really specking for it. Okay. I'm level 12. It's not bad. It's not great. I want to just put myself in a position where my boomerangs can do the most amount of potential harm. Uh, it's not my favorite, but I'll take whatever. Okay. That's some good movement speed. Ow. Deserved. We've, since we've cleared the whole area... Ah, uh, do we want the M1000? We do. I don't think I'm going to be going for the incendiary grenade today. I think that's going to be a later thing. I just want to be able to beat a run. I'm not interested in completing all of its objectives. Okay. Boss is somewhere in that mix. Now the problem is, I don't have the ability to pick up experience here based on the boomerangs yet. Fire rate, fire rate. Okay, the boss is almost cooked. There he goes. Got it all. Even more fire rate. Pick up whatever I can. Uh, let's see, reload speed or damage. Got a low fire rate. I don't actually remember what his reload speed's like. Nah, let's just get out of here. I'm gonna get cooked if I don't. to get those couple, but that's fine. Let's just snag that. And piercing? Cold and piercing together seem like a really swell combo as far as I'm concerned. That's a medium weapon? Huh. Alright. I think I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, so we've gotten a decent amount of rare upgrades, including a pretty good luck up, so that's usually a good sign for me. Right. And we largely want to stick around the outside if we can. Because, yeah, staying on the inner set doesn't give me quite as much coverage as doing a loop around the outside. Oops. I'll be taking that. Thank you. And, yeah, we can get the experience later. There's no reason for me to be focusing too hard on kills. Let those go, do a ton of damage. Yeah, the piercing cold gun is fascinating. I'm very curious to see how that stacks up. Ah, balls. Goofed it. I wasn't quite sure if he had gone off yet, so I went back for a double tap, which you're not supposed to do. Yeah, I might want to go out of my way to snag some things. There's some nitra. Yeah, we'll fight my enemies later. I do some, see some Apaka Bloom over there that I could grab. But I think I'll find more if I just keep going around this outside. A couple of loot bugs. Is that both of them? No, it is not. Another Apaka Bloom on the other side of them, but... You know, I'm just not betting on it. Plus, we've already we've already got all the ones we need. Oddly enough, we have plenty of spares. We're we doing it health-wise. Great, actually. Okay. That one Praetorian is a bit of a worry, but 
not too much of one. Okay. Execute through. We'll definitely want to get our hands on... Yep, that hurts. Got it. Definitely get my hands on the either... Oh, boy. Uh, either the crit perk or the... Um, Okay, let's see if I can get lucky here. What? Oh, you. There it is. Okay, fire rate, fire rate, make it prettier. Let's just go for the pretty. We want the perks if we can get it. Uh, let's see, there it is. One shot, one kill. Snagged it. Yeah, I don't know if prioritizing the overclocks is exactly what you want to do. Okay. It's cry grenade. I think I just want the Thor bug taser. I can't actually tell you if that's a good idea or not. As I haven't really built around the weapon. But it seems like it does a lot of good AoE, even if I don't upgrade it much. Acid, electrical, and fire. Oh yeah, so cold cold is not affected. I think it's still worth it. Okay, clip size, reduce reload speed. I'm just going to do fire rate. Okay, damage electrical damage, crit damage, just damage damage. That only affects those two. And we do want to get my M1000 up to do a decent chunk of damage. Let's go a little faster as well if we can. Okay. Praetorian's back there. We don't need to worry about him yet. Crowd's going to get that much worse as we run around. Go for that. Stun Sweeper now picks up experience. I'd like the extra range. If I can snag it. There we go. Keep going for the fire rate on the M1000. We clean this place out. It certainly feels like it. A little bit left, I haven't checked over here. Yep, we've cleaned it out. Okay. So I don't want to leave too early, but I also recognize that I am going to get swarmed if I stick around too much. I'm just going to run around, do my thing, fight whatever. That takes some extra luck. Even though we only have like 20 levels left, it's still probably a good idea to grab as much as you can. Yeah, he gets a speed boost to get closer to you. That's very interesting to watch. Ow, balls, that hurts. I'm... are you kidding me? Okay. Let's nag that. Be very lucky because of piercing cold. I don't think we got the experience that he dropped, but... I don't think there's much else I could have done about that. Okay, so let's go for our one health. Get that 60% pickup radius, that should be good. I'm I'm still hoping pickup radius affects my uh my boomerangs. So big thing I'm noticing is we definitely need some more crit chance and damage. Uh, let's see, fire rate for all projectile weapons. Honestly, sure. Uh, 
Okay. I'm I'm feeling kind of good about this one. I'm still probably going to choke it, but I might be able to beat Hazard 4, which I'm going to call a win. The big issue is I think I can't dally too much once the boss shows up. Once the horde becomes unmanageable, it it really does become quite lethal to stick around. And then that's not really worth the um any kind of reward. Unless I can get strong enough that it's not a problem. Okay, more reload speed. Because we do want to get it to the point where my... Oh. That freaking hurts. Profit. Get it all with my absolutely stunningly massive pickup radius. Uh, let's see. Extra damage. Yeah, we want the boomerangs to get big. They're my horde clears. Got it. Standing outside. Let it go. I think I might have taken some damage there. It's fine. Grab some nitra. Nope. Gonna go for the reload speed. Targets the enemy with the HP. Sure. Reload speed. Change damage type to fire. I might be able to max a couple of these out today. I'm definitely pushing it, but the amount of paint jobs we're getting actually kind of helps there. Got to be careful, because that's going to go off, and it's going to be bad. Okay, we don't have the Elite yet. We've gotten all of our Bulu caps. We have not explored the map, is the one issue. Okay, at least we can freeze him. Okay, got anything else? Not a clue. Alright, might as well grab the red sugar. I've gained 11 levels here already, so that's usually a good sign. Just set them off. Continue to set them off. Boss is toast. Move speed, reload speed. <sighs> Move speed. There is no way for me to get through this, is there? Yes, there is. I'll take it. Okay. I think we got pretty much everything. Being ma extremely efficient helps so much. Ah, uh, do we want it? It's like the one gun I don't really feel like leveling at the moment, unfortunately. I'm glad I didn't. Fire rate, reload speed. I'm gonna... Okay. Makes everything else worse? No. Extra damage. And we're going to the final region. You know, I think I'm just gonna go for the health. No, not final region. Second to last. But it does seem like a perfectly good idea for me to just uh, heal up at this point 
I don't want to throw a run just because I decided to stinge. Especially when I've gotten so many good upgrades. Like at some point, I will go for a bug zapper build that actually, uh, that I actually fully invest into. But not now. Kind of too late for that. Holy shit, there's so many of them. Okay, there's no gaps is the issue. At least I'm very quick. But yeah, the problem is their effect, they're spawning in front of me, and so it makes uh, finding safe routes through extremely difficult. messing them up. Don't be there when that goes off. Let the big guns just kind of wreck them for a bit. Reload speed for all light weapons. I mean, it's tempting. Yeah. It's especially tempting since I'm using my boomerang and can pick up all the experience. So even if I am getting kind of surrounded, it's not that bad. Well, that sucks. There's just so many, man. Guess I'll take that. Okay, squeak through. Okay, I think we've looped back through at this point, which is good. Got them all, but at, ugh. at what cost? I think I'm posed. Yeah. What the hell? How do you even? I have no idea. At least we got the sharpshooter. Well, do we do a sharpshooter round? Sure. People were saying sharpshooter is great, and I can see why. So you start with the M1000, which is a fantastic gun. You also get 15% crit chance and 50% crit damage right from the get-go. So if we can get the really good... Crit perks. Uh, we're going to be in a great spot. I like where this is going so far. I think our big one on that last run was... <sighs> lack of damage, lack of horde management. Hard to tell. I'm just going to go for raw damage on this thing. Getting it so it can just clear hordes. Even if it fires kind of slowly, it seems like a good idea. It desperately needs some fire rate, though. Not much for reload speed, though. I think it reloads, like, wicked fast by default. Okay, not wicked fast, but pretty fast. Here's the problem. I have to get this cropper. I think I need the mining speed.
didn't get it. That's fine. Okay. So I'm extra slow, which I'm not happy about. However, I do a lot of damage. I'm not hating this. Okay, there's the other Apocalypse Bloom. Extra rate of fire. Not be there when these go off, if I can avoid it. Unfortunately, all of that fallen experience is sad to see. But what do I do about it? All right. And yeah, the other problem is we've got the elite Mac Terra, who is part of the reason why I don't specifically like this level. Okay. Not nearly as lucrative as that last run. Do we want the status effect damage? Currently, we're not doing status effects. Get some mining speed. Hope for some move speed at some point. I'm going to go for the reload. I do really have to be careful. Uh, Jory Rig Boomstick? Sure. Yeah, I think this is just going to be a hard kinetic run. With, like, big crit. Get this up, knock back enemies? No. That's what the Jury Rig Boomstick's for. Okay. Not perfect, not terrible. We need move speed bad. If I can get that back up, we are in a very good spot. Instead, I think we're just going to end up doing... Stupid damage. But maybe that's fine. Okay, good. Apocalypse Bloom is our starting objective. Yeah, so I think goal is just some level of uh, pickup radius, lots of damage, and let the M1000 shine. And we'll just see what happens. Okay. And not as lucky as that last run, but maybe it's not luck that I need. I'm going to focus on the M1000 above all else, even if it's like a slightly inferior upgrade. I don't know if greeting this is worth it. And nice part is, we are seemingly capable of ruining Elite's days. Ow, I took both of those. Okay. Blessed move speed. I wonder if one of the other options I could do is barely even evolve my other guns. Just go for a bunch of um, overall stat upgrades. Only evolve like the M1000 and maybe the boomstick. I'm on top of it. Uh, let's see. Let's go for the max HP life regen. I'm going to be taking some hits here. Unfortunately, we've barely explored the level, which is rough. On the flip side, 
that's the entire second objective done in actual record time. So you fire rate projectile damage. No. Like the wild part is I am able to just ruin most of them. So even if I'm not really able to explore the map, maybe it's fine. There's the boss. It just sucks. I do I do actually need the gold and the experience here. Cryo grenade. Let's just go for the cryo grenade. We don't actually care about it, but that also means we don't hate it. I think I will also say I despise this level layout. It's really bad. Like it's, it's not a clean loop. It's got actual gaps in between. And so that's gonna make this considerably harder to navigate. Yeah, I'll take it. Boss is almost dead already, which is usually a really good sign, too. And I'm, I don't think I'm going to invest too hard into the Frost Grenade. Okay. Well, the damage looks really good. But if I can, if I can solve my speed issues... Yeah, unfortunately, kill too far away, so a lot of that experience is lost. It's fine. Diminishing returns kind of solves the problem. I can do better than this. Damage to fire, knock back enemies. I'll just wait. I was really hoping for a speed boost. Saw the Enor Pearls, got excited, remembered, oh right, not this round. And the other thing we gotta do is actually focus, oh, there was some movement speed. Uh, you know, honestly, getting the M1000 to maximum might still be the better option. I kinda wish you could still just keep collecting overclocks, but I, I'm, I understand why you can't. But yeah, I, I do wonder if the the real name of the game here is pick one weapon, hyper focus on it, and then go um, go kind of hard on uh, universal passive bonuses. Because I'm cutting through these guys really effectively as a result of this decision. Like, I normally don't feel like I can do this, but... Go for the pickup radius. I want the mining speed. But I'm not convinced it's a good idea. At this point. Uh I'll start working on this gun. Yeah, if they're frozen, they don't get triggered. As the one problem I'm having with cold is that it makes the boomy boys different. It makes it so my usual strats don't work on them. Uh, damage. This would be really bad. I'm already slow enough as it is. Okay. Pop over here. There's the fire rate. I don't even know what the fire rate is on this thing. Oh, it's, it's really quick now. 
Okay, so we're still looking for the Morkite. Let's see. Projectile damage. Ow. I probably shouldn't be going out of my way for the loot bugs. And here we go. Okay, so Elite Praetorian could be a bit of a risk. But at least we've snagged that. Get some reload speed on this sucker. Not seeing anything particularly meaningful. Just kind of cruise back through where we've been already. Grab some easy levels. Yeah, we can cut through a, a loot bug pretty quick. Hey, let's be honest here. I can cut through all of these guys way too fast. Like, the boss is going down in a couple of seconds. We're not going to get the nitro I'm going for. There it is. the armor. Okay, it's safe enough. Got 380 HP, wouldn't that happen? I guess we did kind of get most things. I think we missed out on some Nitra. There we go. I wish I wish you could hang out on the ramp shooting. I mean, you can, but. Don't want to go for this. Yep. More bullets, less range, or all your projectiles into one thick boy. Greatly increasing damage while reducing reload speed. I gotta do the thick boy, man. That would have done it. That would have been that would have been really nice. I'm just gonna go for that. All right. Not a, oh wait, no, we're not done yet. Is that fifteen thousand damage? I think the more projectiles would have been better. In retrospect, but. I don't know, man. Sometimes you gotta just live your memes. Even if it means throwing a perfectly acceptable run for the sake of one extremely high damage bullet. So we desperately need some more reload speed, which is rough because my default reload speed actually is only 35%. I think the main takeaway on this is I'm going to one-shot lines of enemies, and maybe that's okay for what I need it to do. Excuse me, sir. What? How'd that even happen? I... What is going on? Yeah, it hits for about 15k every shot. It doesn't fire often, which is a bit of an issue. But... You know what? We're just gonna kill the boss in one shot. I can see why people specifically swear by this gun. You just see the projectile fly. It's absolutely monstrously huge. And it just leaves no survivors. Uh, we don't really need fire rate, do we? 
Good for crit chance. What is it at? 53%. Yeah, that could be higher. Let's see. Fire rate, damage, no. Let's work, work on the boomstick. I don't know what my chances of getting the boomstick up to do, like, piercing damage. I don't even know if that's even a possibility. This is just weird, man. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's, let's keep boomsticking it. Crit chance scaling on Nitro. That's everything we needed. There's the Elite Mac Terra. It is not going to last. So I guess let's just loop back. Okay, that's about all I'm going to be able to get out of this. Reload speed for all medium weapons. There we go. Who put all these explodies in my way? There we go. I didn't even get all the Bulu caps. Oh well. I do have some questions on whether or not that's particularly necessary. I don't really like the clip size, but whatever. Um, I can do better than this. No, I can't. It's fine. What is my move speed? It's 10% extra. If we can get a couple more, I will be a happy camper. So what are we at? 55 with Recon Scout. Yeah, we're pushing that. I mean, getting a decent amount of experience, the only immediate problem is... Oh, I've only mined like half the rock and stone I need to mine for this. So this might, this might take a couple of different runs. I did focus really hard on damage this round. I think mostly because I want to want to beat Hazard 4, just to say that I have. Okay, let's just... Like, the weird part is the sniper bullets, I think, go through the environment? I'm seeing enemies, like, on the other side of walls getting crushed here. Go for a little bit more move speed. Even if it's only 4%. We kind of need it. I guess I should be focused on fighting. We want to get four levels here somehow. Okay, there's the resupply beacon. Yeah, I think the only thing we might do here is complete the run. Uh, let's see. You know the sad part is? I think pop-up tripod is the correct choice for this build. Let me let me explain. Just sit here, and he dies. An extra fire rate? Does that even help me? I don't know. Yeah, like, whatever the sniper bullets do, they definitely go in odd directions. I might be able to pull off 55 here. I'm definitely pushing it, though. Uh, 
Okay. Punch our way through. It's a shame loot bugs don't give experience. Okay, we've already got the supply drop. So, yeah, we're really just kind of chilling until the boss shows up. I might, I might be able to get it out. To 55. It really depends on how fast can we cut through this group. Well, magnets like that's gonna help. Kind of. Damage, reload speed. You know, we might as well re-roll. I was hoping to get the boomstick up, but no. Possibility of doing that even is kind of low. Because it needs six more levels to actually hit maximum. I might have to try this with uh, some other guns. I, I'm still thinking the LMG turrets. Or the Tesla fences. No. We ain't, hit, we ain't hitting 55 here. Not unless we get really lucky, but this guy's already, like, down a lot of hit points. Well, I mean, we only need one more level. I think part of the problem is, uh, not enough enemies. I'll see if I get lucky. He might be worth a whole level. Where are all you suckers? I needed you, like, five, ten minutes ago. Don't throw the run just for the experience. That'd be really sad. Oh, come on, look at that. Oh, it's a sliver. Whatever. We beat Hazard 4, and that feels good. Awkward part is, I should probably do one more run. Uh, let's see, do we want to just go back to this one? Yeah, let's go back here. I haven't done a gunner run in a while. Let's just do... Do we want to do Bulldog Heavy Revolver? Yeah, shoots and move direction. Gives armor, max HP, reduced weapon range, though. No, thank you. I haven't done the heavy gunner in a while. We're probably going to get completely smushed. But you never, you never know. And no, I'm not going to try and go for that incendiary grenade. That has to be on a throwable run. And this is not that. Unfortunately, a number of these, like the Dig X, uh, probably feel like Go Driller runs. I do like the Lead Storm minigun for all of this. It's it's generally one of the better weapons in the game, I think. I think its big, big issue is just the fact that it does not shoot behind me, so... It can be a little on the limited side. Okay. Bad time for a reload. Okay, pick up radius. Oh, that was a lot. I almost kind of wish I had figured out how to bring these guys through it. You know what? My heart's not in this. Let's, uh... We'll do Heavy Gun in another day. I want to do NG on the same level. But with just maintenance work. Seeing as we've tried this with the M1000, I want to see if I can do it with the LMG turrets. 
Probably not, but you never know. Okay, damage, reload speed. Kind of need all, all of the above. And I think I might see if I can go for the electro fence as well. Because I know the electro fence specifically has an upgrade where it picks up experience for you. Okay, which direction am I going here? So I'm going to take some damage. If I'm not too careful. So I didn't need to slow down too much for those Bulu caps. Okay, snag them. Yeah, we'll want some mining speed and movement speed. Being able to go heckin' fast seems to be pretty pivotal for grabbing the good stuff. I'll go for the Firefly Hunter drones. I guess I could have re-rolled for the Electro Fence, but I think I'm going to be working kind of hard on getting the LMG turrets up. Let's see. Let's go for a little bit of experience gain. Okay, get that damage. Not that I'm happy about it. Explode when they're removed. You know what? Let's grab that. Having them mine the walls is tempting, but not that great. Unless there's a plasma upgrade that I don't know about. Or haven't tried yet. Found yet? I don't know. Okay, so this is going to be a little shaky. It's a lot to mine out. In fairly short order. There it goes. Oh good, we do have a magnet. Piss. There goes the boss. The boss is right there. Go for the light lifetime of lasting weapons. At least we got a bunch of armor really early. I think I'm just going to take this magnet. Even if I would have liked to get it later. Okay. Chance to find gold when mining any kind of rock. Yeah. We only need one more blue cap. Why are there so many loot bugs? Okay. Snag that. Do we want to grab the breach cutter? No, we want the voltaic shock fence. Ow. Deserved that. Lifetime of lasting weapons, bit of reload speed on that sucker. Not that there's much I can do with it. Aliens grow much stronger. Boss is about to go down. I'm gonna hang out on the fire. It's not my favorite place to be. Unfortunately, fire rate doesn't do much for my other guns. So maybe I should just go raw damage, nothing more. Uh, let's see. We want to start working on those electro fences. Level 20, actually. That's not bad. Not as much golden nitro as I was hoping for, but I wasn't really expecting. You suck. Oh, it's just haunting me now. Let's just leave it at that. A 
Okay, at least we can get our Morkite really quickly. And a couple other things. Yeah, the one problem is the shock fences don't work that well if you're not moving much. They only put down... Uh, they only go down... Well, I don't know, actually. Yeah, they only really go down if you're moving. Which means... Me standing here makes them less good? Less good. Somewhat. Okay, we've already completed that, so we can kind of chill. Yeah, I don't have the mining speed to really cruise here. But maybe that's fine. At least I can get a decent amount of gold. What is with all the screaming sound effects? Are those the enemies, or is that part of the music? Actually, I have no idea. All right, let's just snag this. Explodes. And then removed? Yeah. Hopefully we get another magnet here. I'd prefer not to explode to death. Whoop. None of this is safe. Okay, it did notice me. Let's get in here, grab the red sugar. Wasn't able to maneuver around the shot. Uh, fine. I'll just grab that now. It hurts, but what am I going to do about it? Just grab experience. I know, just grab the cryo guard. Let's see. Yeah, the extra armor would be nice considering how much damage I've taken here, but... Yeah, actually would have saved me from a decent amount of damage there. Oh well. Electrical bullets? Yeah. That's gonna kill the boss. Nope. It didn't. That's actually really good for me. I don't actually want to kill the kill the boss if I can avoid it. Not yet anyway. I was really hoping I get another magnet. Yeah, best I've got at this point is probably just go back, collect all my junk. Hmm. Okay, the Frost Guard's pretty good. Okay, a little bit more zippy movement speed. Okay, we definitely need... We definitely need some things. Uh, let's see, more move speed, more move speed. I need to get my Electro Fences up. 
But I'll take that massive quantity of pickup radius. I don't know what it's up to at this point. But I know for a fact it's really high. Okay, now pick up experience. There. We got what we needed. I am hurt, but we have a lot of gold. Extra charges, fire rate, reduced accuracy. We're not done yet. We've got one more, two more regions after this, so I don't want to roll down too much. Okay. So, nice part is, because of the Electro Fence upgrades, I can just run, and they'll pick up experience for me. Okay. Yep. Put all that. Might as well grab some red sugar. Capped out. All right. Let's boogie. Stay the heck away from that. Uh, let's see. Get these electro offenses up to maximum. Something hit me. Something must have gotten close. Couple things have. I guess I shouldn't be too sloppy. Because yeah, the electro fences and the guns can clear out a fair bit and look at all those numbers. I think the one issue is their damage is a little bit on the low side. Legitimately unsure of what hit me there. I'm going to just blow myself up because I'm not paying attention. What is the finest level? Electrical beams to nearby constructs. Makes me a bit sad we don't have... Extra lifetime, there we go. Damn it. Makes me a bit sad we didn't have the fire turrets. I think the trick on this one is I need to go get the fire turrets. I th think I also want to do a, an easy run at some point and unlock the, um, or max out the the ice runs just so we don't have to worry about them being unupgradable. Not that that matters too much. I, I do think very much focusing on one specific class for a very long period of time is somewhat the trick. I'll have to work on that. But for now at least, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.